early childhood care and development is the basic for any societal success. If we invest in the uh, early years of children, then we almost guarantee our future as a community, as a nation, as a continent. It is at that early age that it matters most because then you're able to expose children to an environment where nurtures, stimulates and motivates them to, to grow and thrive, not only to grow and survive, but to grow and thrive and be able to reach their full potential. In environments where we do operate, there are issues around violence in different forms, either physical violence, sexual violence, issues of emotional abuse and neglect. And sometimes it's not because they don't know what to do, but they don't know how to address some of the challenges that they experience. So we do come in with an intervention that creates a platform where together with the communities and with the families we reflect on the challenges yeah. that compromise their ability to raise their children in the best way that they would want to. We are not teaching parents how to take care of their children, but we are facilitating them to discuss a number of issues which is coming up and how to address them. We believe that they will be able to learn a lot of skills which will support and help them improve the care and supporting environment for their children at home. We do realize in our quest to create a safe and nurturing environment, poverty is still a main concern. So all our programs are integrated within agribusiness initiatives. Food security is an issue in West Kenya, in Northern Tanzania. So as much as they would want to give their children the quality time that the children deserve, they spend most of their time looking for money to put food on the table. Farming in Tanzania is a lower class and preferred job. It's only the poor who does farming. And if you do not do something to improve their agricultural practice, that means you are not touching their heart. So that's why as ICS we thought it's good to empower them, to provide them what they, they lack. They received training about good farming, but also they received uh, good seeds. And now they know at what time to plant, how to prepare the farm and how to arrange those seeds. So even if there is a small rain which is coming, still the seeds can be able to germinate. In one acre before, they were getting like two sacks of maize. But now they get eight sacks of maize within one acre. So we choose for ourselves to combine both skill for parenting and agribusiness to address the array of challenges that families do experience. And doing this together has really helped us address most of the drivers of poverty, most of the drivers of violence in those communities, most of the drivers that center around why parents are not really giving quality time. Many organizations have many programs that are targeting children and young people to build their capacity, their confidence and skills so that they can reach their full potential. All organizations have good intentions in terms of making a difference in the communities. But as we design programs together with communities, it's very important at one moment to pause, reflect and evaluate whether you're really making the difference that you wanted to make. For ICS, I'm a co-investigator on this study that they're doing, combining skillful parenting with agribusiness to reduce child maltreatment. We do that jointly with the colleagues from the University of Oxford. So they're mainly responsible for the quantitative evaluation and Namri as a partner is responsible for the qualitative evaluation. We have one community that is receiving agrix, agricultural component of the intervention. Then we have another community randomized to receive skillful parenting. Then another, other communities or villages randomized to receive both. 
and with that information then it informs us in terms of moving forward uh, and scaling up. Do we need to combine them? Can we have them separate? Which one makes the most sense? If we have agribusiness alone, can it address most of the challenges? If not, we need to combine it with skillful parenting. Our people in the field are collecting data, conducting interviews with the farmers. We have these questions that the interviewers are asking the parents and we also have some audio questions whereby the parents are allowed to go to a more private place and then listen to an audio and then answer questions. Last year when we came here for the survey, I remember we, we are going through the houses the first time we were in this view, I mean in the villages, and then most houses did not have lunch. But this time we came for the end line survey. Every household goes, ah, we have food here, welcome, we can eat. The results are showing that if you combine the skillful parenting with the Greeks, you even do better on child maltreatment. So, so far, before even finish analyzing uh, the results, we, we are seeing actually it's positive. You wanna like you today? I wanna like you today. You wanna like you today? I wanna like you today. The prize money is going to be used to uh, adapt our program uh, based on the recommendations we got from the RCT. So we, we're going to use it to be able to address certain key issues that came out from the research in terms of improvement. At the same time, we are going to use it as a basis for scale up uh, to additional families. We, for now, reach 10,000 households in a country per year. But our ambition is to reach 1 million households. So it's going to be the basis for scale up at the same time as we identify other partnerships that are willing to work with us in this exciting journey that we have started.